Uh, yeah, and Proto won another tournament. Yeah, pr- yeah. Did he really? I, I wanted to talk about that one a little bit. We'll we'll see if we have time to talk about all that. Sheik got Bro. second. Aim got second. Just saying. Yeah. Sheik is broken. Solo Sheik. Solo Sheik. Second. Honestly, MVD played amazing. Bro, who, it was pretty refreshing. Me? Yeah, who's with you? It was pretty refreshing. I was like playing him the Friday before, and I was like. This dude's a lot better than I remember. Like, no, no shade or anything, but like, he's like was playing like really good, and I was yeah. like, "What's happening? Like, can I get a game?" Um, Paul Tano's are actually still pushing the meta of the character in a sense where like they're bringing out these tricks. Like, you can you I can show. Sh- sh- oh, go ahead. The best example of Paul Tano's pushing the meta as far as they can is Chag. I think it's I think it doesn't always show in every tournament match but there's a lot of random moments where i see chag's gameplay where he gets as creative as possible so i just want to throw that out there i 100 percent agree with you but yeah shout out to chag <laughs> all right today we plan on talking about smash con brackets i also uh-huh. i do have some news about that i will not be attending i'm very sorry to publicly announce that i'm sorry marcus is about to cry um, again glitch smash con like i can't win i'll I'm never sorry. see you again <laughs> um but we will be talking about the brackets for smash con we will be talking about the world tour uh regional finals for the for north america west that happened just general tournaments. A lot of Smash over the weekend. So there's a lot of general Smash stuff to talk about. Um, pretty much the calm before the Sora Storm, I would say. Yeah, I Proto won that... another tournament. What was that? Say, yeah, and Proto won another tournament. Yeah, pro- yeah, Did it really? I-, I wanted to talk about that one a little bit. We'll, we'll see if we have time to talk about all that. Yeah. Sheik got Pro- second. Aim got second. Just saying. Yeah. Sheik is broken. Solo sheep. Solo sheep. Second. Tier uh, list. I was top tier. I, I was thinking this is the last weekend before we have Sora in the game. This yes. Is the, Smash Con is the last major before the invasion. Yeah. The what? Invasion. I call it an invasion. It's bad. It's not good. It's bad, dude. We gotta fight him off. Right. Yeah. Am I right, guys? Yeah. Woo! I won't be using Sora. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. <laughs> like how everybody knows. Yeah, yeah I will. will. Of course, of course. I sound great. Yes, let's go. He chat. does. He all does. Right, all, right, all right, cool. All right. Can also won a tournament. Cool. So, uh, we can talk about the World Tour. I feel like we all know a decent, a uh, decent amount of what happened there. So I think it's a good starting point. Um, yeah. Snake. There was actually a lot of snake over the weekend. A lot of snake this weekend. I was thinking about that. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. MV- I like snake. MVD Me won too. the whole thing. Um, honestly, MVD played amazing. Bro, who, it was pretty refreshing. Me? Yeah, who's with you? It was pretty refreshing. I uh, played him because he was, you know, was at um, it was in Maryland. I'm sure you all know. Yeah, uh, and. I was like playing him the Friday before, and I was like, "This dude's a lot better than I remember." Like, no, no shade or anything, but like, he's like was playing like really good, and I was yeah. like, "What's happening? Like, can I get a game?" We only played like five games, but he was cooking <laughs> me, and I was like, "Hold on!" Like, I'm learning a lot. Like, he taught yeah. me. I didn't know that he can choose what direction Nikita sends you. I did not know that. Like, that's just something that I learned. I didn't know that. Yeah, wow. I mean, like, there's like, there's like one frame before it hits you you can input the direction that it's facing and it'll send it always sends you the direction that it's facing but he'll just like turn it left Actually or right hacking. like right before it hits you Wait, yeah yeah he's hacking. are you lying are you trying no, to say I, this so i say it on commentary and everyone in the youtube comments is like what an idiot no. like, why would he think that you weren't That's supposed to you weren't supposed to tell the public that you just revealed mbd's secret I mean, that, that doesn't change anything. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, still, he's still going to turn it right before it hits you. And then, <laughs> boom. It's like, like a true, it's like a true remote controlled missile. Like, it also controls which way they go yeah. after the explosion. Yeah. Like, it's really, wow, that is insane. And it was interesting, like, listening to him, like, talk about the game. Because I never really, like, spoke to MVD about the game. But it's actually pretty knowledgeable. 
and like he's like actually become more of like a calm player like i would like hit him for like 60 and he would just be like that's fine and i'm like bro you just took 60 <laughs> like what do you mean you're the fine? nervous one even though you're the one hitting them <laughs> yeah like, i was like wait a second like is it fine i started questioning myself like exactly, hey, maybe yeah. i need to maybe i need to do 90 like what yeah <laughs> but yeah congrats to him he played really really well uh and i know that he's had a lot of nest experience over the years through austin at the beginning yeah. of the game in texas and now and, foe yep. in vegas and then he had to play against ness and grants and watching both of them play that matchup was really cool because they both seemed experienced in it you know what yeah. i mean send and mm -hmm. send yeah. got second by the way played amazing the whole weekend mm -hmm. um he only lost to MVD. See, seeing MVD Ness win so consistently him. is pretty, pretty crazy it's, timeline, huh? It's it's strange. Yeah, it's a strange, it's a strange world. I like think... he's not like at the tippity top, but you know, for like most, like oh my gosh, that scared me. Sorry. <laughs> For like he heard most... Ness and he's just here. He hates yeah, that. Yeah, Charles, Charles <laughs> just spawned. He's talking about Ness. Oh. <laughs> How dare you, hey, Charles? What up? What up? Are you guys good to about see, and and it's not even just like um, it's not even like one player that's doing it with Ness. It's like multiple players. Yeah, like, Ness has a ton of representatives, and not even just in America, like Gact and like across seas. Like there's yeah regions where Ness is represented. So it's cool to see him doing well, um, even if he do just be mashing sometimes. The mash looks kind of nice. So yeah, it's pretty. Well, I think. He's always been a popular character. Like I think since like even oh, N sixty four, like everyone kind of wanted to play as Ness. Like you feel like he's always kind of like I don't yeah. want to say a fan favorite, but he definitely has a dedicated fan base for sure that always wants to play as him. Um, so I think that helped. And then I think honestly, like I think a lot of people thought he was going to fall off after Wi Fi, which to to be honest with you is kind of a fair assumption. Not yes and no because mashing is a little bit stronger online. But I Marcus think what knew. Seeing... Just saying, Marcus knew what was going to happen. It was the opposite. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh yeah, I uh, came in late. Isn't he streaming? Huh? <laughs> I'm going to his stream. Do you, you yeah. guys want to see Bam Nair? I'm done. Oh, <laughs> the Ang Nair. That's the money maker. This, I'll this play is what Voyager. happens when Void's like, "All right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some water." This is actually what he does. He just goes what in Charles' happened? rooms and He's starts yeah. spinning. Around. Spinning. Nice. Um, but yeah, I think we're seeing that with a lot of Wi-Fi characters, quote unquote Wi-Fi characters. Like the St Steve's are doing well. Like Yanni, obviously, Elegant's doing great. Uh, so Kira much Rash time and know. effort during the online era. You know what I mean? It it's translating. It's a that's really interesting. I'm Lynn, hold on, Luis, hold on. Oh, they dude. just did very well at an event. Sonic's top three at that event, actually, all Wi-Fi. Yeah, at Edge Guard. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. those, I mean, those were all the top seeds. Those it was. I would say it was expected. There was some dark horses as well like charlie was there so charlie and foe actually did not get top eight at that event which was very surprising because yeah. i believe if i'm not mistaken foe is ranked like the highest ranked player in vegas and then mvd is ranked under foe foe doesn't get top eight at this event and then mvd wins smash world Tour. Smash <laughs> very... that is a smash, smash. brothers moment yep <laughs> yes so i mean you know not everything's on paper and all that jazz but i feel Never. like but like, like you guys said about the Wi-Fi, I feel like all the things that you can do offline, like grind combos and you know what I mean? Because like you're not having the offline tournament settings. You're still having Wi-Fi tournaments and getting tournament experience. But like the refine, like refining your punish game and labbing and all that, like characters like Steven Ness, they have a very high cap in their punish game, right? Like, I don't even, like, Pyramithra, eh, maybe that, that's, like, a bad example, but Fox, for example, doesn't have a very high cap in his punish game, I don't feel like. It's it's not as crazy as it was in Smash 4, you know what I mean? It's, like, more, it's, like, simpler combos, and then, like, but then you have characters like Sheik, Diddy, Mithra, in a sense, like, you don't need it with Mithra, but they their punish games will keep scaling up just because there's, like, little niche things that you can do, and, like, Ness literally has infinites that you can do with Psy Magnet, set knockback is broken, right? And they also, like, I mean, we've talked about this a lot, but in Ultimate, they've done a really good job of revamping and balancing characters where it's not like, oh, you're, all your all your eggs are in just one basket and everything else is trash. Like, Ness has a decent recovery now with directional air dodge, right? Like, I feel like a lot of people just th thought history was going to repeat itself. Like, oh, Ness is going to be strong in the first year or so. People are going to remember how to edge guard him, and that's a wrap, right? But with directional air dodge, you have a decent amount of mix-ups. Obviously, still exploitable off stage, but... Yeah. Uh, 
just overall feels more competitive. And it's, I feel like Ness in this game can't be very Ness has never been so well rounded. It's pretty interesting to see. But game design. You wanna know who we need to talk about regarding World Tour? What's that? Uh, Base page? Jiggly, Jiggly Puff. Puff. Yeah. Jiggly Puff. That's the best character in the goddamn game. Oh dang! One hundred percent. Wow. Uh, 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 another tier above the guys. There was another tier above Joker and Pikachu, and it's Jigglypuff. Yeah, dude. Best okay. edge guarding, death On- combos, best recovery. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> F throw is so broken. It's busted. It's busted. That is insane, bro. Like, literally at zero, people just get grabbed at the edge of the stage, and it's like. Yo, am I gonna make it back? Like that's crazy. That's a crazy thought. Like, yeah, fighting for your life at zero percent after getting grabbed by the edge, dude. That Damn. was the buff too. That was a buff. The angle, that knockback angle, trajectory, all that stuff was a buff on the yeah. throw. And I know that because I pretty much kills Belmont at zero uh, from almost center stage, which is in- insane. Just insane. Bro, intentional. It's brutal. It is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Min min life. Yeah. You know. It's terrible. Mage Mage is literally goaded. Facts. I was like talking to him and he was like, yeah, I pretty much just have like a flow chart for every matchup in the game. So like I already know what to do. And I was like, every matchup in the game? Like, what, <laughs> how much do you play? Like you'd be studying, studying. Like, But I guess like when you play a character like that, you kind of have to. Yeah. That's, I think that's the mark of a good character too. Because I would say also like, there's some characters, the less you have to change your game plan, it means the more that you feel comfortable in a matchup and, like, the easier they are to play. Like, for the most part, a lot of characters, like, think of why Pikachu is so dominant, like, the way things he can do. I think Rob kind of falls in that category, too, where he's looking for the same couple of things, no matter what the matchup, almost no matter what the matchup is, right? And to me, that just says they have good matchups or not. So when you say that, I'm like, eh, either you only have one-dimensional play because your character's not that great, or it means, or it's the mark of, like, a really strong character who doesn't have to do that much or get too, too, too creative in terms of neutral or controlling the gameplay. Um, so that's that's actually really interesting. I just think there's a couple of Jigglypuff's moves that I find really hype, and my two favorite Jigglypuff moves are down air and up tilt. Up tilt is so funny. It kills. It's spammable. <laughs> it's just like it's it's funny. You wouldn't get it unless you play Puff yourself and do a few up tilts. You wouldn't get it. Play Puff? No, but I uh, back in the day. Good. Back in the day. Wi-Fi Smash Four back in the day. Oh yeah, good call by chat. Base Mage also beat Cola at Riptide. I forgot about that. Yes, Absolutely. which is Base Mage cool. is legit. Low, low tide. Yes, doing exactly. amazing every tournament. Yeah, exactly. That that definitely you're right because at first it's like, well, that's a blip on the radar. You know, might chuck it a bad day for Cola or like whatever. Already took a loss to Sharp earlier in that day, so it's like, eh, maybe he wasn't the best base. You know, kind of you know, all right, you, you got the W, but what does it mean? Now that Base Mage has even better you know results afterwards, that's what you got to do. That's the key right there. You can't. Can't just be a flash in the pan. You got to keep it consistent. So Base mage crazy. beat Cola, Sand, Larry, dude. It's crazy. I think Skittles. At least uh, one win on Skittles over the weekend. Something like that. Base mage beat Varun. Varun, like different. this is with Puff. <laughs> I, think he, I think he lost. The, I think I'm Base just saying. Next play. time Hbox enters a major tournament ultimate, Hbox is winning the tournament free. Facts. True. Agreed. Awesome. Shake. Character is just broken. Yep. Jigglypuff's out of control. Nerf. F down. throw. Dude. F throw. My man Dom did not have a good bracket for himself. Like just in terms of straight. Yeah, the Kazuya came policy. out. I saw that. Yeah. I saw the Kazuya come out, dude. Which is he was the up to against uh Kirash, right? And he then was. Dude, Kirash reverse three would Belmont with Luigi. Which is one of the hardest matchups in the game for yeah. Luigi. For Luigi, to be clear. So that sucks. Like, that's that's really well played by Kirash, but that's obviously... Kirash not had so many great sets. Kirash played really well. Lots True. of Future W's. Smash. Future of Smash, Future of Smash. Kirash was goaded at World Tour, for sure. One of the qualifiers, you got MVD, yep. Send, Kirash, Base Mage, Skittles. Is there one more person? One more person. Somewhere, and I can't remember for some reason. MVD send uh, Moxie. Moxie. Yeah. Yeah. Duh. Duh. Yeah, yeah. I, I, had a, I had a great time watching it. Um, 
And there was also a lot of snake at at a uh, at Pinnacle. Bro, lots ouch. of snake this week weekend. Bro, bro, I didn't Did watch this one as much. Only only grand finals. Like okay, you watch grands. The end of grand finals, not even the whole. Oh, okay, game. bro, ouch was legitimately freestyle. That is the most aggressive wolf I have ever seen. Damn. Like he just goes for re- like he would do like he would do like four there and just be like, all right, down smash and just kill a like sixty. And I'll be like, what the heck? Like and he's like ouch is so confident. Like there's that clip floating around of like the Pikachu charging side B and he just all runs that. off stage like super low and just down airs. Which probably could have been tech because they were so close to the stage. It's like, bro, I'm doing it. And that was game this five. This wolf is playing friendlies. Like, the scariest player. The one that's always playing friendlies. Yes. Ouch has like Damn. some crazy frame traps. Like it, it was so like different watching yeah. that wolf. Which is weird because Charlie has like a different wolf. Like Charlie's like combos are more fleshed out. But like. Ouch's like gameplay just looked a lot. It's freestyle, like you me. said. Yeah. Well, it was really it's the mark mark of a good character that you could see him play so many different ways yeah. and find success so many different ways too, right? Like that's like just, that's Wolf. We, well, Wolf always said it. Wolf isn't I, that good. Come on. Come on now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't even have this joke for like ten seconds. Sorry. <laughs> Clearly not a top five character. Dude, no, Wolf is terrible. I've I've loved this region for a long time. I've watched a lot of Canadian Smash, especially in, I always watch them in four, but especially in Ultimate because I think I've said this before. But they have some of the sickest cans ever, especially in the beginning, like before he got buff. So I watched them a lot, and I've seen I've watched Ouch play forever. Grape too, like really, really, really good Snake man. Big D, obviously everyone knows. JW was number one for a while, still a really, really good player. Lemon one of the most for, consistent like, Canadian players. Yeah, JW for for sure. Lemon, who I've always been like when people. Before uh, the pandemic, they'd ask me, I want to study Jokers, but like obviously I've watched everything Leo has. Who do I watch? I would be like, Lemon is actually super yeah. sick. Definitely watch Lemon, like no question. Black Twin's been great since Brawl. Very consistent Definitely player too. Brawl, yeah. Riddles. What The thing I love about Riddles, like obviously he got top eight, which is good, but for him, like he's probably number one seed at this tournament would be my guess. So that's not like his best showing. The thing I love about Riddles is every time, is he digests wins in real time and like puts it on social media. And I actually appreciate that about him because he'll just see him go through like, I'm frustrated, I'm pissed, like I don't even know about this character, or this game, like all this stuff. And he's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna start winning again. Like this. I, I love watching his mentality. Like I love that he lives in like the the low for a little bit where he's like, I hate this feeling, I hate it. And then his comeback is always, I'm just gonna do better next time, yeah. which I always really appreciate about Riddle. It's one of my favorite things about him as a player, aside from his character choices, obviously. So and then Tickle, who I actually don't know that well, despite watching the region for a long time. But dude, I love this tournament. They I played so Corin in Smash 4. Oh, okay. I just oh, okay. remember yeah, yeah. seeing them play at a Canada tournament. I, 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 I know they're a high level player in the area. Um Pyramithra. Riddles is a great like presence to be around uh in person. Really, really yeah. nice guy, amazing player. Despite like when Rid- when me and Riddles are in the same room, it's just me roasting the fuck out of the characters he plays. <laughs> and I still like and he just like takes it really graciously you know like he's a an amazing player in person so thumbs up to riddles you got it next yeah. tournament he'll be back and it's like dude if your low is getting top eight at the most stacked tournament like in your region for a long time like you're still doing some stuff right and obviously it yeah. doesn't feel good to not perform as well as you should but perspective wise and it just shows how stacked his region is too which i i know he's known that forever but it's it's good that other people kind of get to see that too because I and ouch winning is so sick. I'm so glad everyone's talking about his wolf because I've loved that wolf. I was like, you know, you start watching a region and it's like, oh, it's wolf versus snake. All right, like all right, let's watch this, whatever. And then you're like, wait, what the hell are these guys doing? This is wild. Wolf W crazy shit. Despite how much I loved watching Snake all weekend, like to some people that might sound sarcastic. I, I actually like Snake. Maybe I just being like I've been I was a brawl player and everything, and I just. Play, played Snake myself in Brawl and Ultimate. I just like Snake, but a Wolf W will always have a special place in my heart. We, a few podcast episodes ago, like sometime recently, we talked about our favorite characters to watch. My favorite character to watch is Wolf, so. Nice. Uh, thumbs up to that. Uh, seeing Wolf win a tournament is always amazing. 
definitely. It's gotten harder for him too. Not like a lot, but it's still you don't see it as much. There's a lot of other characters too that people could pick. So it's yeah, like, all right, yeah. So you don't see it quite as much as you used to, but. I agree. Great, great character. Tweak like Snake because he's campy? All right, you fucking caught me. All right? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> caught red-handed. Snake's dude. cool, dude. I don't care what anyone says. He's cool. I feel like a lot of uh, a lot of people think that Wolf is strong. Or when they think, when they hear when they hear us say that Wolf is strong, it's like, oh, he must like shit on a bunch of matchups. It's like he's strong because he's consistent. It's not like he's unbeatable, right? Yeah. He just has a really, really good. Always a, he's always a worthy pick. You know what I mean? Right. It's a very consistent pick. So it's it's not like you know what I mean. And that's I, kind of uncommon in this game. You know what I mean? If right. you're not like one of the like, if you're not like the first or second best character, or like he's like right outside of that realm. So it's even more crazy that he's like just as worthy of a pick as them. So it's it's really cool. Yeah, and then uh, I guess we can talk transition talking about edge guard. So Ooh, another obviously consistent. another uh, so many tournaments happened this weekend. Um, it was really cool. Uh, we were at the Luxor. The esports arena is like in the Luxor, yeah. which is a very sick. Uh, I mean, it's just a really cool venue, and of course ESA always has like great production, all that jazz. And I remember walking to the venue and just felt so nostalgic. I was like, "Yep, I remember this." It, like. I that was one of my first like bigger gigs and it was I was on an analyst desk for it and that's where Tweak got like the super sick Bayo combo that didn't use any up B's, only used two ABKs. Like I was like, damn man, this is this is hype. And then uh yeah, the tournament was great too. Um E E Sports sponsored Luis, gave him a hundred <laughs> bucks, wore the tag, so and then he won. Luis won. <laughs> so shouts to Louis Money doing it big with the Politana. I don't think he went fox for any matchups his fox is more of like it's very specific matchups he'll use it for uh i think Palutena is just a, a lot better character than fox for covering like a broad like you know spectrum of matchups obviously right so i mean i in my opinion paul is still up there for me like around wolf area yeah so, for sure just a really pick. Definitely. and a, a bunch of great players here uh goblin came out to this tournament sonics was here and sonics at this point hasn't lost is that the to top a three Yep. That was the top three, yeah. And at this point, Sonics... This was like... To me, it was a proving ground for Sonics because yep. there's a lot of great tests here because the only players he's lost to before this tournament was Leon Meister. Obviously, yep. two very clear top 10 players, right? Yes. Consistent top eight. Top five players. Top, yeah, like top five, top one, whatever, right? It's just like really, really good players. Yeah. So, uh, Luis and Goblin were i think he did play both of them and goblin and luis did end up being sonics oh man luis versus sonics and winners semis was crazy game five uh there was a couple of them that went to time and luis played it really well i think paulu has great tools i i think paulu is a character that i thought was gonna be a character that maybe falls out because of how simple the character was mm -hmm. but um Palutena's are actually still pushing the meta of the character in a sense where like they're bringing out these tricks like you can you I can show sh oh go ahead the best example of Palutena's pushing the meta as far as they can is chag i think it's i think it doesn't always show in every tournament match but there's a lot of random moments where i see chag's gameplay where he gets as creative as possible so I just want to throw that out there. I 100 percent agree with you, but yeah, shout out to Chag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, we we it's talked like about the basketball. before too, where Chag hit kind of a low point, like coming back into offline. But recently, he, he hit a stride recently, which I think we all agreed was really really nice to see. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead, Charles. Back to back to Louis Money, the goat. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Right. Well, it's it's um, one thing that I think is the mo one of the more important things in terms of what Paulus are starting to do is they're starting to fast fall their nares. So Paulu is nairing your shield, right? And you know, it's like minus 10 or minus 11. You can clearly shield grab it. But then if they fast fall it, then the, uh, it like just stops. Like it, the last hit will either hit you suit or like the last hit. You, you don't know if the last hit's going to go off or not. Mm -hmm. And then they can fast fall it into like a grab. They're a little laggy. So, but like, it's still like an RPS situation, right? And, and even on yeah. whip, even on whiff, if you're if you're like not getting if your shield's not getting hit, right? You kind of have to like almost anticipate or yeah, like pretty much anticipate if they're gonna fast fall it or not. Because the whiff punish timing is also different. So now and then on top of that, like if they go for the nair on your shield, they fast fall and then they go into up tilt. If they shield poke you, it combos like if you drop shield or it just shield pokes, it'll combo into the up tilt, which is a kill confirm. 
or the up tilt can like catch you jumping or you know what i mean like maybe catch you shield trying to attempt to shield grab i don't know if it's like a true block string or not but if they cross you up right like there's there's so much ambiguous and you can you can time the fast fall in different times right so it's like you could do the earliest possible fast fall you can delay the fast fall a tad bit so like that aspect of Paulo, and that that's just Nair, right? I, I'm like there. There's so many aspects of Paulo that are also being pushed even further. But it, it's just really cool to see characters like Paulo, characters like Wolf, where players or just the community in general thought they were very simple, and that's why they were strong. It's like okay, these characters just have really broken moves, and um, the strategy is simple. So like that that is why they're going to be strong, and they're going to slowly fall off. And it's not the case because there's still like room for the meta to grow, right? There's still fundamentals room. prevailed this weekend. Yeah, true. pretty much. True. <laughs> fundamentals, which so, is it was, it was cool rare, because a lot of people I've seen a lot of talk recently about uh, if neutral game or punish game is more effective. I guess, for lack of a better word, in uh, an ultimate, and uh, this weekend, neutral prevailed. Let's go fun <laughs> And it's interesting because like sometimes it feels like like for example I play Min Min and it's like all she is is neutral and punish game. So I get like kind of confused. I'm like, I, I have no idea. And then I yeah. watch Wolf and I'm I watch Wolf and it's the same thing. And like I think the, the best characters obviously have like extremely good neutral and extremely good punish game, like it's hand in hand. Yeah. But then like the high tier, like mid tier characters uh for duck hunt for example is like extremely strong neutral but you have to win like seven thousand times right or you could just play like luigi luigi yeah. yep a perfect example <laughs> luigi and win neutral, win neutral twice and then you're good like yeah. so it's it's interesting to to have that debate i mean i don't really care they, i mean they care. it's just a very it's a nice topic to talk about because you can talk about it all day. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And you'll never actually have an answer. That's the thing. Uh, yeah. I think that's the why they ask it. I think the consistent thing is the the characters at the top who are most consistent have both. If you look yeah. at the, I mean, that's why I think that's always why we all said Pyro and Mythra are going to probably be top tier. One does neutral, one does the power and gets the kills. They can both do a little bit of each, though. You know, at least Joker, same thing. Pikachu, same thing. They all are these well-rounded. You know, can, Palu, Wolf, whatever. All all have a lot on both sides of the coin for sure. But you don't want to be too polarized because usually you kind of pay the price. Like if you can kill like Luigi, like you can kill people at zero off of a grab potentially. But at the same time, you can't move. You know what I mean? You're stuck. Like there's only it's <laughs> you so many can't things you move. Can do. You can't move. You can't move. Little Mac, one of the most polarizing characters in the game for sure. There you go. He's all the way at the bottom. So you can't be in the air. What a Dude, crazy what a crazy sacrifice to make. I, I rewatched his reveal trailer, which I low key love. It's one of my favorite reveal trailers. I watched all of them recently because we're done. Yeah. yeah. I love that trailer too. I'm glad you watched it. I, I loved it. I love that's one of my favorites, and so is uh I love Terry's too. I thought Terry's is great. But it's really there, cool. there are a lot of good trailers. Yeah. The music is great in Terry's, which I like, but anyway. Um, the concept was I actually really want to ask Terry. everyone like top three trailers. Ooh. Right now. Damn. Yeah. This is hard. Like across Smash 4 and Alt? Or... Every game. 64 to oh, Ultimate. Dude. Are, okay, so wait, wait, oh, wait. 64? Is... The 64? Well, there's, like, there's technically trailers. Like, they, they reveal multiple right, characters at once. Oh my god. Dude, this is hard. Like, Melee has, like, the intro that technically revealed characters for the first time. Dude, Does the everyone is here? Is everyone in, is here? Does that count as one trailer? Dude, everyone is here. That is just, fucking hype. Dude, that's number. Let's put that at zero. That's zero. That's the best. That's number zero. I'll start crying if I watch that. That shit was amazing. <laughs> I literally got goosebumps. Like I remember exactly where I was when I watched that trailer. I was in a yep, coffee same. shop in downtown Boston, watching it on my phone. I'm like, I can't fucking believe. I was at an so airport cool. for a tournament, Smash Four tournament. Nice. I think. Oh, okay. I, was at... I know my. I think I know my. Okay. Right, okay. Right. Let's go, Marcus. Okay. And Wait, are we counting be... that as a trailer though? Everyone is here. Is that a trailer or no? Nah, you, you guys want to just do, you guys want to do individual characters? Yeah, I'm doing individual. Yeah. Characters. Okay, okay. Individual okay, character. okay, okay. Now these oh, characters, God. I don't feel the greatest about all of them being in the game, but when they got revealed, I was like, "Yo, what?" Yeah, yeah. All right, character number one. Is this from least hype to most hype? Yeah. At least hype to most hype? Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, it's still... Okay, same order. Character number one. 
Sonic. All right. I never thought Sonic would yeah, be exactly. in a Smash game. And when I I was like, "Bro, what in the world is happening?" Like, "Bro, it's Sonic like in <laughs> Smash Brothers." That that was something you only saw on the internet as memes at the time, like and then boom, yeah. Sonic. Like, okay. It was a different era. He was like the Sora of that era. Like you exactly. never thought you'd see him, he him and was. Mario exactly. in the same frame for sh- for sure, for sure. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Y'all might hate me for this, but I don't care. Sora's trailer was really good. It was good. It, it was, was very good. good. It was good. It was I, a very good wrap up. The like hitting, yeah. flying around all the different characters, like bringing them back to life from their trophy state was super cool. Like it was very ambiguous too. So I was like, what the heck is going on? That shit was Dark Souls at first. Yeah, it was Dark Souls. Well, first it was Taboo. First it was Taboo or Master Hand. <laughs> then it was Dark Souls or Cinderace. And then it turned out to be Sora. So it kept you guessing the whole way through. It was nice. And then uh, my favorite Sephiroth. Like that's just, that, that trailer Dude, that, was What funny. a weird pick. That was ice. That trailer's ice cold, dude. That trailer, so bro. Good. Okay, it was so good. Just... All right, go ahead, go ahead, Chuck. <sighs> <sighs> okay, okay. So, is this like how hype we were when we first saw it, or that's, that's like me. Sure. yeah, sure. Okay, okay. How okay. I did it. Like the most hype when like I saw the trailer yeah. and I was whatever just, like, works initially... for you. Like, just your top three trailers. It's like our tier list. Whatever that means to you. The most. Well, it's like if we're going off of like the reveal trailers, Sephiroth's my number one because like that actual trailer oh. is too broken. It's too godlike. We should have paid but for it. That's how broken. It, it that shit was. He cut the dude shit. in half. The guy that like shit on everybody. Kirby Barry, Sephiroth literally came in, shit on that guy, and he was like, "Fuck all of you. I'm going to kill all of you." Like that dude. That shit was so hype. It looked so beautiful. But in terms of like hype levels, like Sephiroth will still be in my top three for hype levels. But Cloud was like the hypest I ever got for oh, anything. That was so um, that was and like, okay, so like Cloud and everyone is here on the same level because I yeah. remember everyone is here. I was camping outside of like the invitational event that was going to happen. I camped overnight. I slept on the streets of LA <laughs> to be in the front of this line. I woke up in the morning. I'm with like Strides and some 2GG people, Quan and stuff, and we're watching the trailer. And the whole time everyone's talking in line, like, dude, it's gonna be a port, bro. And I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. Like, it's not <laughs> oh, gonna be a port, bro. Word. Like, bro, and then like me and Strides kept talking, like, dude, if Snake comes back, bro, that'll be so hype. Like, Snake we just all the bra all the bra vets in the yeah. line were like, bro, we want Snake back, right? Some people were talking about Wolf and stuff. I and lost dude, my mind when Snake appeared. Yeah. Like, I was losing my mind the whole time, but I legit couldn't function anymore once Snake was on the screen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was I was I was done. Like my brain was and fried. Then, and they Once dropped they, it at that, like, right yeah. when Snake was coming over, I was like, everyone is here. Uh, dude, knew. me and Strides were in tears hugging each other. <laughs> we were so <laughs> fucking happy, bro. Like, everyone in the line was just popping off, too. Like, it was it was so fucking hype, dude. But, dude. like, Cloud broke the barrier for me. When, yeah. when they, when, like, the when I look back at the actual reveal trailer, it's pretty trash. Like, the, the reveal trailer is not that great, comparatively to, like, Sephiroth and some of the other stuff, right? So the reveal trailer is not too crazy, but the fact that it was fucking Cloud, like, the floodgates opened for me, dude. Yeah. I was like, I was like, Goku can be in this game, like, <laughs> like anyone can be in this fucking game, like, Cloud from Final Fantasy is in fucking Smash. That was so crazy. And, damn, I don't... Oh, and then K. Rool. For sure, K. Rool. I K. Rool was a character yeah. that I personally I wanted so... I wanted it so bad. Like I remember, I remember like when I would play like Melee and Bros. It's like, oh, me and my friends would always talk about like he'd throw the crown. Like you'd have to throw the crown, and like would always like go through his move sets. Like there's, he has to be on the next one, right? Like he has to be. And then like even Smash Four, he still didn't come out. He just wait. You mean it? That's oh, when yeah. I. <laughs> that's when I started giving up hope. When when he didn't come out in Smash Four, I was like, fuck, dude, he's done. K. Rule is done. Wrap it up. Yeah, there's you no hung it up. Into it's the over. Game. Which made that trailer even more hype because I didn't even like expect it. It was just like, like, just something that I was like, oh my god! Like, one of my one like the, one of the characters I wanted the most in Smash ever is just like in this game now, and his final Smash is like from one of my favorite Donkey Kong games, Donkey Kong yeah. 64. So 64, it, it was, yeah. those three for me. I for couldn't sure. believe it. All right, has your next. You guys are all missing such a good one. I can't believe none of you have said Mega Man yet. Oh I my almost said Mega Man was very dude. Mega Man's very oh, good. Oh, he starts glitching out. He's getting beat up by he throws a shield again. My he top three has is all 
The saw, the saw blade up against the Hillian shield from Link. Dude, that like, trailer is art. It oh, is beautiful. Oh, so good, dude. And, and then he's like loading in like the level kind of thing. Like, yeah, oh, all yeah. the... It the goes music, like, oh, I'm getting it pans right to now. like the the screen, and it says like Flame Man. It shows off yeah. the board. It gets so good. He gets it's, his ass beat. It shows his death animation. And then it shows him like like glitching out, and then like down or like realizing he has like Flame Man's powers and all that. Yeah. Oh my god, it was so fucking good. I love his, obviously. Um, I gotta say, uh, Belmont, dude, holy also shit, a beautiful what a trailer. trailer. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. so cool because in hindsight, you, the references to Castlevania were great, but you need to realize too that that character is more Richter than it is Simon, to be real. Like the uppercut is Richter, the down air is Richter, like all that shit is like Richter specific stuff, but they hit it so well with Simon because they only did Simon specific. He doesn't up B, he doesn't do anything. He does like forward till, you know, like he keeps it really simple. Like they don't, he doesn't show a lot of moves. And then Divine Bloodlines plays, you see the boss fight for uh, uh, Dracula. Oh, I love that. And then, oh my God, Richter comes out with the Be Gone line. It's just so good, dude. Yeah. Holy shit. I love that trailer so much. Luigi they dies for bonus sure. points. Yeah, Luigi so died. Good. Let's go. So good, oh, yeah, that's right. Luigi got fucking jammed. He, bro. Got, he, he got super jammed. Um, I would say Sephiroth, but everyone's already said it. So I'm going to, I love, I think I've, the one I've watched the most, I think is Terry's. I think the music, I, I don't even like Terry that much, honestly. Like, I, I don't know. Like, He's not like Ken or whatever, but Ken's trailer, let's be real, wasn't that good? Like it was basically an Incineroar trailer, which was all right, but whatever. Let's go Incineroar. Uh, but Terry, the theme and the dedication they had um, to really making it live up to like that SNK arcade style feel, that intro music, like the first couple beats, like the guys cheering, the invitation getting tossed around, geese, obviously, it was so good. I love the tribute there, but. Probably my favorite one's Belmont and then Mega Man and then then Terry, probably. They're, they're all really close. And Sephiroth. I agree with the Cloud one, by the way. Cloud, his trailer sucked, but like it was his the trailer sucked. Me, that was the biggest reveal because Final Fantasy, aside from Smash, is my favorite game series for sure. So that was huge for me as well. So like right all when right. you heard the Final Fantasy music, like I, I remember I was in Void's Garage, I just started screaming, dude. I it was, yeah. it was crazy. I said no way. And for um everyone is here, once they brought back PT, I started doing the math. I was like it, the this shit can get crazy really quick once they brought because I think PT comes out before all the crazy ones for sure. But once they showed Ivysaur and Squirrel, Ice Climbers was, like, was before Snake, I think. Yeah, yeah, I was stuff just like, like that. Mm, yeah, Snake the was the drop, bro. Pichu, like, Pichu as well, I think. Because and then they showed Wolf, like all the all the Super yeah. Wanted, like Wolf and Pichu was after Snake, right? Y Young, Link? Link, Young Link and Wolf were definitely after. Yeah, yeah. Wolf was remember. literally. The last character other than Luigi and Yoshi at the very end. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, Luigi. All right, Gavin, what do you got? So all of mine were said. I guess I'll explain, like, why, though. Because I, I like the way you guys, like, explain the importance of everything like to you guys. Of, yeah. Because like, it's personal to you, too, right? Yeah, like, I, I love that. Um, so from least, from worst to best, uh, number, number three would be uh, Mega Man for me. Uh, I thought the trailer yeah. was beautiful. It's still... It stands the test of time and then some if you go back and watch it now. Um, and it's what got me back into Smash. I wasn't playing Smash at the time. I was a Call of Duty kid uh, in this time. So I saw that trailer. I bought a Wii U even though Smash 4 wasn't out yet. I was ready. Uh, all I had uh, the Wii U and Mario Kart. That's it. And I was just waiting for it. For uh, Smash 4 to come out. It brought me back. I, I hopped back on Brawl. I started playing Melee and Project M tournaments. Because I was just waiting for Smash 4. And it was all because of that moment. Was Mega Man's reveal. It was crazy to me. And I even wanted to play the character. During the 3DS demo. I played a bunch of Mega Man. All that stuff. What was like, your demo mains? <laughs> I, my Mar demo Mario, main, easy. My demo main was Mega Man. So... But yeah, I guess it's part of the reason why I'm sitting here now. So that trailer was pretty wild to me. Uh, and he just looks great. He The animations are all great. Like, he's one of my favorite characters visually still. Um, Sakurai killed it, man. So much. It was perfect. All the moves. There's so much crazy stuff. Like, it's yeah. just so accurate and perfect. Um, and then number two is I have to give it to two trailers at once because it's kind of the same thing. It's K. Rool and Banjo. Um, yeah, the rare character, the rare squad. Like, especially because like those are characters I really fucking wanted. Um, and 
at first for Ultimate, a lot of them were characters that I didn't, like Skull Kid ended up not being in the game and I really wanted Skull Kid in the beginning and then it was like, who was at the beginning? Like like Inkling and stuff. Like I was excited for the game, but none of the individual characters were exciting me. And I think K. Rule was the first one that really got me going. I think, mm -hmm. you know, Ridley was like pretty cool too, but I like didn't have much of a connection at the time. So the K. Rule and Banjo thing, like it's so it's so adorable too. Like those are my favorite. Like those are my favorites. Like Diddy, DK, K. Rule, Banjo. Like like that. Like I think B was streaming our reaction to Banjo like over a Discord call. Like I like peeked the mic and like she had to, like mute me. <laughs> I just ran out of the room. And then like K. Rule, I was like visiting my parents and it was like nine or ten in the morning or something stupid and like. I was just screaming and they all hated me. Um, <laughs> like, I, I think K. Rule was the first one to, like, make me, like, tear up. Um, and then number one is Sephiroth, and it's not close. <laughs> uh, his, dude, his it's not even... So, it's not even fair, It's dude. not close. It's that's, not fair. that's the best thing I've ever seen in my life, period. Like, like yeah. it's literally a fucking movie. I'd pay $100 to see that. <laughs> Cloud Cloud stepping up like and realizing he's like he's like Sephiroth. Yeah, oh my god, it's, it's so good. It's, it's too so good. good. The fucking um was it like Peter Dark Pit to like before Sephiroth showed up yeah, too? Show like <sighs> hint that it's like an angel. Yep. Yeah, oh, it's really the, good. There's the and then thing, Sakurai just like, alright, it's just gonna be a movie now. Like it's just Advent Children. Like I don't it's know. So good. Sakurai just went all out on that one. It was so good and like also that's the character around that time like a little bit before sephiroth's trailer like i like didn't know what character to play i wasn't enjoying the game diddy ended up like really helping me a lot but like it just like re-motivated me so much at the time sephiroth's trailer like i just i still can't believe that trailer exists but yeah yeah unexpected topic but that was very fun I'm about to watch all these again, dude. I'm actually surprised. I, yeah, low no, key actually, I know us. Nobody was going to say Joker, but a lot of people like the Joker. It was really... B like, really likes that one. If you're a Persona fan, right? I like, yeah, think of, a right. reveal was happening. That's the other thing. Yeah. The art was really Land. cool. The art was really good. You know? Joker! Like, Terry's what? concept was good. Like, And then even... uh, Like, I know someone mentioned Ridley. I think Rid Like, I'm not Ridley? the biggest fan. Which one? Yeah, Ridley. What, Ridley? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ridley, Ridley is. is. So good. Dude, I well, it was, wasn't even watching the Game Awards, and I thought everyone was stupid for thinking a character was going to show listen, up. Listen, listen, oh. listen. Joker, it, like, did the impossible for this game. It, like, opened the doors to the impossible. Joker is the such first DLC character, an yeah. important first DLC. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they opened up. They opened big and they closed big. Holy shit. Yeah, like, yeah they really they did. did. Huge, dude. Well, dude, and even you look at Fighter Pass. I think a lot of people really wanted Pyro and Myth. They didn't have a good reveal trailer, though, in my opinion. Yeah, but I wasn't hyped for the characters, so maybe, she liked maybe it. they just she liked didn't Pyro realize. Yeah, I don't really know them, so yeah. I don't really want to know well, them. So, you know. they, it really, I think they were supposed to be base game, so you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's a couple of characters in the DLC that were, like, intended to be in Smash in some way, and they ended up being DLC, like, like Steve and Pyramithra and, and Min Min, I think, stuff like that. They were um and, and Little Max too. I didn't even I meant to bring that that's how we kind of started talking about it. But I love I thought his was great despite what the character mm -hmm. turned out to be, even though we all probably mained him for like a couple weeks at the in three DS, I'm sure. I did for sure, absolutely. Everyone Dude, had I loved, Max secondary. I love Brana Plant. I loved it. Oh, plant. That was my shit. Who was y'all three D S main? Oh, Jr. I've I have a couple. You, yeah, you can have a couple. You know who my real, my true main was on 3DS was Duck Hunt. 100%. I used to win locals with Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt, Mario, Greninja. Greninja, when he, was, he got nerfed and I, I stopped messing with him so much, <laughs> but Mario, Greninja, Duck Hunt was my trio. But Duck Hunt, number one, easily, very easily. Bowser Jr. Mm -hmm. Are we all, uh, DDD. And then <laughs> it was DDD, oh, and yeah, then I bro. played my first tournament. I played my first tournament, lost game one, and I was just like, there's, I was like, that wasn't me. That was DD. I'm sorry, dog. I'm sorry, yeah. DD. That was not on me. That was not 100. Me, that was 100 percent on you. And then I switched to Sonic. And then Sonic. I still lost the set, but I, but I got game two. There you and go. then, and then I lost game three. But it's just funny because that's like, and then the, there was only like a a week or two after that, or actually there was, yeah, like a week or two after that, 
because we didn't have like too much tournaments back then. And then when Wii U came out, I switched over to Fox. Bro, jab, jab, man. I saw I that. Played, shit and I, was I played like, Peach Give me that. until what? they took out. Yeah, I played Peach, but they took out the thing you know, where you could run that? off the ledge. I knew that was going to be it. I knew it. <laughs> you could run off the ledge and insta pull a turnip. Like yeah. it just, it would just spawn oh, in your hand. Yeah. And you could cancel uh, aerials by throwing the turnip. So you could like forward air their shield and just throw the turnip and you'd be fine. You'd be safe. <laughs> Imagine yeah, she was, game, these games weren't fast. Why, was, why uh, do I feel so angry right now? It's gone. It's not, it's yeah. not a thing. Why am I so mad at that? Yeah, she was, she was a lot. And then I, I played Pit. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember you played because I watched the Xanadus at the time. Dude, great. Wario vectoring in 3DS. Oh, vectoring! Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> I wanted the to play Yoshi glitch with the, the egg, dude. Yeah. Teleport. Oh one. yeah, dude. What did yeah. Diddy do in 3DS? It was something really stupid. I cannot remember. He was also just broken. He was also yeah, broken, yeah. but yeah, I think he did something with like pop oh, gun God, or banana. He's so or, stupid uh, on 3DS. <laughs> Holy shit! That was before any nerf. I'm sure, sure you can. Mm -hmm. Fucking up air. Okay. Right. Did everything. Oh, did everything. That, really needs, that really needs to come back badly. You know, yeah. he was my Throw least favorite air. character by a like country rage. mile to fight. Like, like Ding by dong. a lot. Still is. Him and Chun Li from Third Strike. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Ding Dong needs to come back. Mm -mm. Smash Four Diddy. Bro. Dude, no. Base so Luigi oh was the most god. infuriating thing to play against oh bro. yeah Your when region. before yeah before they had before they patched in shield stun in the smash 4 um that was a huge patch by the way a huge that patch game. which is interesting I, I think a lot of people yeah a lot of people don't even know like they added more shield stun to smash 4 they had to patch it in luigi's fireball was so stupid he was just bloop 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 and you couldn't do anything like it was legitimately a 50 50 on if you got grabbed or not Against Luigi? Yeah. He <laughs> would throw the fireball, game? and he would just run at you, and you just have to guess if he's going to grab or... And you would either Air. jump or... Air, yeah, it was it was really stupid. <laughs> and I, I was like... That's dash grab in the fun. game, by the way. It yes. was the best dash, dash grab. Yes. Dash grab in the game and would fucking kill you off of it. Yep. It was legitimately <laughs> infuriating to play against. And I was like, bro, I would rather fight Diddy Kong than fight this. Fair enough. I never played against Luigi. Holy moly! So. Thank God it doesn't work. Falcon Thank dash grab and Luigi God. dash grab were the scary dash grabs in four. AK, if you got grabbed, a lot of the time it wasn't your fault. <laughs> 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 That's how good they were. Yeah. Yeah, uh, dash grab. Yeah, they nerfed dash grab a lot coming in ultimate. Ultimate <laughs> dash grabbing is like doing a smash attack, Ooh, and then on dude, top of yeah. that, you're like, we're gonna nerf dash grab, and then we're gonna give attack canceling spot dodges like so if you dash grab it's like i'm gonna fully charge up smash you ah! <laughs> like it's like fucking insane dude, yeah. dude i think it, it, that, i think that was good in, in general smash ultimate just became kind of anti-grab like shield grabs suck too like just so much about grabs that, that, I was, always, that was always my go-to like since brawl was like shield grabbing was so good like it was so so good it was like easily one of my like top options and in this game i had to like unlearn that basically because Nope, it's not right. a thing anymore. It is a thing, but it, nope. It's weird because I feel like Nintendo actually low key like you, they they got ops, bro. They they be seeing things. They be listening oh, yeah. for for sure. Oh, and it's just weird was like, when they actually do something about it. When, or not. Yeah, like one of the things that people complained about from Brawl throughout Smash Four was how strong Shield was, and they were like, "Oh, y'all don't like how strong Shield is." All right, plus four, yeah. dude. Yeah. The goaded Smash Four mechanic. Is the ledge? Yeah, I the like ultimate and Smash ledge. Four. I love the ledge, like ledge trumping. All I think it's so fire. Uh, I don't know. Dude, think about how bad the game would be, or not how bad the game, but how unbalanced the game would be if there was still edge hogging. I know well, edge hogging is like I love it. I'm sorry, maybe I'm a zoomer. Well, I, I, no, that's fine. I think, no, well, I, I, think I think it's the best thing. thing they've done for the game. That that impacted like that balanced the game the most. I like two framing too. What the, yeah, but I mean, just the, the fact that you cannot edge hog, it, it balanced the game. Whether you like edge hogging or not, you can't argue that. Because if if you can edge hog, like, dude, think about how much characters would be utter dog shit in well, this. Every, think about ultimate. Every tether character. They'll well, yeah, but you, you, yeah, but you patch around that. 
You know what I mean? They're, these characters currently today have recoveries that are built for ledge trumping in mind. Like, yeah. If they didn't, you just make them a little bit better. Like in right, but way. when you have to bring up that the game has to, like everyone's recoveries have to change, then like at that point it's a different game, right? Yeah, but I like edge hogging. I think it's fun. I think I it's mean, a cool no. mix up when someone's falling towards the ledge and it's kind of ambiguous. Like, are they going to land on the stage or are they going to go for the ledge? You grab the ledge and then you cover their option on stage. Yeah, I, I don't think hate that shit everything. Is so fire. I, I think don't... it's so fire, dude. I love that shit. I don't hate I do. everything about the previous mechanic. Like, like that stuff type of stuff like yeah. you're saying i like it but i don't know also before we he before we head out who's oh, yeah. who's playing against my sword on the 18th in this call who wants to play oh no <laughs> right. you're gonna i don't wanna you're gonna time me out on east coast west coast connection see ya yeah i i'm busy man <laughs> i don't know bro i'll find someone else god damn yeah i don't is, really... this, is this is this going to be like the new meme? Like a uh, Sora mains at at uh, tournaments, they're going to be walking around like, "Hey, does anyone want to play hey, friendlies with can me?" I it's like, the rotation? Yo, man, what character do you play? Money, uh, I play Sora. Man. It's like, um, yeah, I'm good, man. Like, isn't what's money called in Kingdom Hearts? It's money. It's M U N N Y though, not M O N E Y. Like, yep. I spell it differently. It's a what money. Bro, I would be, I would be M U N N Y. So yeah, oh, don't saying. even. Money oh match, and you and oh, I'll take oh, my gummy shit. Stop, I think stop. I'm leading into it. I think I'm gonna become a king. Of oh, it's I've been again? wrong. Again, I'm wrong. Again? Yeah, I'm going back, dude. All right. <laughs> well, no one wants to play me, so I uh, that that's that wraps Wait, up. Like Kevin, I thought you got there. better the way Sakurai attended. <laughs> I thought you go on Elite Smash and you grind on there, and like that's where you get all your matchup practice. That's how Sakurai intended it, right? No, nah, that's how players get I'm good. I'm out. Thanks oh, for watching, no. guys. <laughs> I'll yep. see you on the 18th. Peace. Later.